Dear students, have a good day. I hope you are well and safe at your home. As you know, COVID-19 has spread all over the world and our government has to take harsh decision of closing schools. But I have taken an initiative to teach you accountancy in these holidays. Let's start the new chapter company. But before describing the chapter company, I have to start about the forms of organizations here. There are different forms of organization like sole proprietorship. Second form of business organization is partnership. Third form of business organization is company. And the larger form of business organization is multinational company. Yeah. These are the forms of business organization. Now we can start the company in the following steps. The first step of starting company. In the first steps, we will discuss about the meaning of company. Second step in description of company is characteristics of company and this is also known as feature of company. Feature of company and third is kinds of company. Now start the meaning of company. What is company? A company is an association of person created by law. It is recognized by law and it has its distinct name and distinct common seal. Its capital is divided into small denominations which is called units or which is called share. And its life is perpetual and the liability is limited. And I want to say that and it is to be noted very important to note down that according to the company act 2013 a company means an incorporated body under the company in under this act or any of the previous act such as company act 1956 dear students now we will start the feature of company or we can say the feature as a characteristics of company yes this is the first feature of the company this is incorporation it means a Incorporation means registration of a company. Yes, a company is an artificial person created by law. And it is an incorporated body under any of the company act. Number second feature is separate legal entity. Yes, a company is an artificial person having a legal entity from its shareholder or members. The third feature is artificial person. Yes. A company is an artificial person created by law. So it can keep its own property by its name or it can co contact with other companies or can conduct business to any of the firm or any of the enterprises. Fourth feature is perpetual existence. Yes, a company has its perpetual life. It means company's life will be continued without any effect of bankruptcy, lunacy or any other conditions happens to its member or the fifth feature of the company characteristics is limited liability yes liability of its member or the shareholder is limited to the value of shares subscribed by them sixth characteristics is the transferability of shares shares are freely transferable to the shareholder in concern to the public company only because public company have a right, public company has a right to transfer the shares to the shareholder and public private company does not have such type of any right. And seventh feature and the last feature of the company is common seal. Some company has their own common seal and some may not have their common seal. But if the company has their common seal, he has to affix the seal on their document.